So I studied aerospace engineering at university and during my time at university I participated and led some pretty insane engineering projects and I've talked about these projects before on this channel but one question that keeps coming up to me understandably so is how can I get involved in projects like the ones that you've done and well this is the video to address that. First up, we have Rexus and Bexus, two of the most prestigious competitions to get into that the European Space Agency runs. Rexus and Bexus are in fact two separate categories, R standing for rocket and B standing for balloon. But what actually is the competition? Well, the competition is that you have to design a scientific experiment that you would either like to be launched on a rocket or taken to a high altitude via a balloon. The type of experiment that you're likely to be accepted onto BEXUS for is something that requires you to test something at a very high altitude, something around 40 kilometers. Whereas an experiment that is likely to get accepted for REXUS is something that might require an experiment to be tested at high Gs and also moment of microgravity. In essence, Bexus is where they give you a massive balloon which you put your experiment under and that goes and floats into the atmosphere. And Rexus is where you put your experiment into a sounding rocket and the rocket goes off and then ends up falling back to Earth. So those are the two European Space Agency competitions. HASP, the High Altitude Student Platform. This is pretty much identical to BEXUS, but it is run by NASA alongside the Louisiana State University in America. This is the competition that I actually partook in when I led Project Sunbite, one of the space teams at the University of Sheffield. The format is, like I said, the same as BEX's, so you just have to write a proposal of an experiment and see if you get accepted. I've talked about a couple of space ones, let's jump to something more terrestrial. Formula Student is a UK-based competition where university teams are expected to design, build and race their Formula Student cars. It is quite common that most universities will have such a team, so if you want to get involved in this sort of project, then it's likely you just have to talk to a ton of people and someone will likely know someone who's in the team. Yeah, I did say it's a UK-based competition, but I think that most countries, or at least a lot of them, have a similar sort of competition model set up. So just, I guess, whack open uh, Google and have a type to see if there's something like that in your country. Okay, we're momentarily jumping back to space-related projects because the next one is Spaceport America Cup. <laughs> Spaceport America Cup is an intercollegiate competition to design, build and launch your own rocket. With uh, America being in the title of the actual competition, you could probably guess that the competition occurs in America. But if you're not in America, worry not because it is open to all countries or at least most countries that I know of. I think the cool thing about this competition is you actually launch the rocket at the same location where Virgin Galactic does its test flights from. My alma mater is actually one of the best in the UK for this competition. So yeah, if you want to join the best student rocketry team in the UK, then uh, the University of Sheffield is definitely where it's at. So if you're one of them elongated muskrat fans, then you're probably going to like this next one, which is called the European Hyperloop Week. As you can probably deduce from the name, it is a week-long event where you come together from different teams around the around Europe and test your Hyperloop pods. It was only recently set up because previously teams used to compete in the SpaceX Hyperloop pod competition, but since that has not really been around lately, I think a few European teams have come together to design this competition. Lastly, to round it off, we have another British competition, which is called the Railway Challenge. And in this, 
you're basically expected to build your own locomotive. It's not like a full scale, full on train, but you know, it's a scaled down version of what a train would be. And you end up going to a miniature railway in the UK to test it out with other universities. So if you're thinking that, you know, these projects sound cool, you know, it'd be nice to work on it for like a month or a few weeks. I want to stop you right there. These projects are not those types of projects at all. These are types of projects that you need to dedicate a lot of time to and often you need to be committed for a whole year at least. You may be used to seeing like those projects, ideas, videos on YouTube. Well, this is slightly different. This is not something that you just knock up in a few days. Like it is easy to think that, yeah, I'm going to be involved. This sounds fun, but because of how long and how tricky these projects can be, you're likely to, you know, feel very demotivated after maybe about a month or so. But I promise you, if you stick through it and you have the right motivation and passion for actually what you're doing, it is going to be like an incredible experience that, you know, I can't even describe. Um, and it's something that you would remember for a long time. And is it worth the difficulty of these projects? I would say a thousand percent yes. Like you will stand out from uh, like a ton of the other engineering graduates that are graduating uh, in your year across the country if you really get fully involved in these projects. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you learned about anything new to be honest then subscribe to the channel and watch out for awesome more future videos to help you along your engineering journey and comment down below if you know of any other competitions that students might want to do or something that you're doing yourself. And I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.